Uh, all the more reason he needs to read my bloody letter so I can get my money. After all that occurred in Aeroflu. Yes. After all that occurred in Aeroflu. It would be ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him. Well, I'm going to advise you illy then. This is going to get ill and... Wait a minute, what happened to him? Knew it. Yeah, it got in the car and it drove him to his parents' house and there was like, eat him. Oh, so you're a Samaritan. Uh, are you telling me that Ina's a cannibal? I find this all very hard to believe. I don't have time for chat. Tell me where it is. Now! I find this all very... I uh, know, I believed it. <laughs> well, that's good. Yes, you keep mentioning things like that, and your silky voice is kind of attractive, and this lighting works wonders on your features, but I just... I want to complete the quest and get some money. His family was aliens? Actually, that brings up a good point, guys. I have the DLC, all the DLC for Fallout 3, so that includes the one where you go fight the little green, the little gray aliens in space. We'll get to that eventually. Um, oh man, let's see if this succeeds. Please! Ah, uh, then can it be left to disturb him? Well, that's fine. I talked to your friend. <laughs> I talked to her. I talked to Holly. And Holly gave me the password, so I will see you later, because I'm going to go talk to Ian. Because I found a secret way. What's in here? Is there anything of value? Anything valuable? Oh, hard, yeah. Average. Oh, yeah, I'm totally going to be able to open that. What's in here? Nothing important. What's in here? A bed! Oh, but I can't sleep in it because it's red. All right, let's hop this. Oh, no, no! Officers, I have a ticket! I have a ticket! Oh. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, let's open this up. I got your password. Unlock security area. Door all released. Yo, what's up, bud? Uh, what do you want? I want to talk to you. <laughs> You're a bitch to find. Well, maybe that's because I don't want to be found. Too bad. I have a map marker. Here? I'm sorry, Ian, but your parents are dead. I'm here to take you home, Ian. <laughs> You're sleep. We're getting out of this insane asylum. I'm sorry, Ian, but your parents are... But he knows that, and I know he knows that. I'm here to take you home, Ian. Home? Sure you do. It's still a house. It's still there. There's some dead bodies in there, but we'll clean them up. I know what you did. Vance told me everything. You seem awfully troubled, Ian. What did you do? It doesn't matter what happened in the past. Get a hold of yourself. I know what you did. I know what you did last summer. You ate your parents. Look, Ian. I know loss, too. I know it hurts. But staying here isn't the answer. This is my Fallout 3 white male protagonist voice. But staying here isn't the answer. Something inside me, something completely messed up. Oh yeah, I know some completely messed up stuff. Like, have you seen Alien? Because it might be that. It might be that. Prometheus is coming out. You might have saw the movie and accidentally got a face latcher. We need to deal with this now before it gets out of hand. Uh, speech. Let's go home, Ian. The only way to beat your nightmares is to face them. Woohoo! Success. Oh yeah, I had that silky smooth white male protagonist voice that I used on you. It's hard to resist it. Cool. Fun times. Don't eat anybody, or I will kill you. I'm just gonna gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back. Fun times. I will see you there, and then you can pay me. You can pay me, pay me, pay me. Oh man, Vance is gonna be so happy that I disobeyed what he was uh, telling me to do, and I went in and talked with Ian. He's just gonna be, I'm just gonna butter him up a little bit before I let him know all about that. He's gonna butter you up a little bit. Oh, uh, we can. Interrupting. How did you hear that? I was there by myself. How do you know? Well, with a little bit of 33% chance of me succeeding in convincing him to do what I wanted him to do, he did. Um, before I talk about Ian, there's still a matter of air food to discuss. Alright, so I'm going to pull out my gun and shoot you unless you agree to not attack them. <laughs> Vampires can drink any kind of human blood, even from blood plaques. Blood plaques. From blood packs. There must be an alternative sort of blood you can survive on. Uh, or give the people a chance. They're defenseless. How about this? Vampires can drink any kind of human blood, even from blood packs. Curious. Many years ago, I survived by drinking from fresh blood packs. There you go. You can do it again. I have solved all the world's problems by having dialogue options presented to me by the game. What do you propose? I propose you continue to do that. Air food donate blood packs and you leave the town alone. 
Error food donates blood packs in exchange to protect them. Error food will sell you blood packs and you'll leave the town alone. Let's do this one. Agreed. That was easy. No, there was a 100% success rate on that if I selected the option. That is the best kind of conversation you could possibly have. My kind. You're the minority here. But that's not to. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not being vamp. I'm not being vampirist. I'm just saying. That's well. Actually, no. I guess I am the minority because there's one of me and like six of you. Ian's decided to leave the family. I'm not sure I should be the one telling you this. A little bit. I don't really want to have to beat you all with a bat because I've got no ammo. And as for Ian having you speak in his place. I find his trust well, I'm not actually going to speak. I'm just going to pick a floaty dialogue option, and it's... Okay, I'm going to tell you then. He decided to leave. I know, I hate it when I lose sheep, too. They get abducted. Little lambs. Yeah, guiding people is, is a nice incentive, Vance, but he just didn't want it. Oh, man, we are over time for this video, so I will pick this up in the next one. Thank you for watching, guys. Peace, love, and serenity.